as some of you may know, I recently picked up a new Moto helmet. This is the Shoei XSPR Pro, and it has been without a Moto Vlog setup for a while. And today I finally got around to doing it, so I thought I'd take you guys through a step by step of setting it up from scratch. But yeah, that is the completed Moto Vlog setup. Let's head out on the bike and see how it runs, and I'll also take you through my GoPro settings to get the best footage possible. We're out. I wonder how it looks, how it sounds. I know showy helmets are really good for their uh, wind noise. They don't make much wind noise. So hopefully that will make the audio quality of the videos better. Yeah, we'll go test it out. We'll run through my GoPro settings with you guys. It's a beautiful day today. All right, so there are a couple important things you must have for your GoPro in order to get the most out of it. And those include the GoPro media mod and ND filters. We'll get into why you need ND filters in a second, but the media mod is obviously to plug in the microphone so you can talk to it like this, how I am now, and get that crisp audio with minimal wind noise. Yeah, once you have those two important things, we can get into the settings. So if you want exactly how my footage looks, just copy the exact settings. You can tweak things around uh, after you use the settings if you want to get a different look or change things up. But yeah, just for this video, I'm going to explain exactly what I use for these Moto Vlogs. So resolution, quality, I shoot in 4K. I know GoPros can do 5.7K. Just shoot 4K to keep the file size down and it does perfectly fine anyway. And then for frame rate, I shoot 30 frames per second. And this is where the ND filters come into play. So basically you want to shoot double the shutter speed for the frames you're using. Sorry, this is really boring. I'm behind these slow cars. But you want to shoot double the shutter speed for your frames per second. So in my case, I'm shooting 30 frames per second. I'd want to use 1 over 60. So you scroll down a little bit to the shutter speed section, click that and do 1 over 60. If you're shooting 24 FPS, it's 1 over 48. If you're shooting 60 FPS, it's 1 over 120. And that's how the rule works. That's basically how it is. Because because you're locked on to 1 over 60, the brightness is going to be crazy if you don't have ND filters, these sunglasses for the camera. So that's why you need this ND filter. I'm going to demonstrate to you why an ND filter is so important. So if I just, this is probably not safe. If I take it off right here, as you can see, I just took the ND filter off. Everything's so bright and the GoPro isn't auto adjusting to it because we set the shutter speed to 1 over 160. It's stuck there. That's why you need this, this glasses right here. Let me see if I can put it back on right there and as you see back to normal now next up we have stabilization i just turned this completely off because i want my footage to look as like action-packed and crazy as possible and i feel like if you have stabilization on high or boost even standard it just makes the footage look really underwhelming like yeah it looks smooth and pretty but very underwhelming i'm on a bike right now i want to look like i'm going fast like I bet it looks like I'm going way faster than I actually am right now and that's what I want and pairing no stabilization with this motion blur makes my GoPro footage look like a movie or something it looks sweet next up on the settings if I can remember ISO set to 100 minimum and maximum 800 just in case we do get into some dark areas I want the ISO to bump up bump up to kind of compensate for if it does get dark it might get a little bit more grainy but I want footage that I can see if I do get into a dark situation. Next up is white balance. I just leave this on auto. I let the GoPro do its thing. It's pretty good at it anyway. Did I mention to use Superview? I did, right? So there's wide and Superview. I use Superview. I know the GoPro Hero 11 has... Uh, hey, the boys. I know GoPro Hero 11 has um, Ultra View, I think it is. It's really wide, but a little bit distorted on the edges. Unfortunately, I don't have the Hero 11. I think I'm waiting for the 12 or I'll get the uh, DJI Osmo Action 4. I'm not sure. I'm going to wait to see what the 12 is offering. But yeah, so that has Ultra View, which I'm excited to try out when I get it, if I get it. But yeah, on this GoPro, I just use Superview and I think it does really well anyway. That's basically the most important settings. Other settings like color, I just leave that on flat. Sometimes I use log depending if I want to make like a cool color grade video or some sort of edit like that. But for these motor vlogs, I leave that on natural. Also for bitrate, I just leave that on normal or whatever it is. I think there's normal and high. I use high when I'm doing like, just as I said, a color grade video. But like for this motor vlog, I'm not. I'm filming for a long consecutive amount of time. And if you use high bitrate, that's much bigger file sizes. So so it's going to take up more space. You won't be able to film as much. So I just use normal bitrate for motor vlogs like this. So I can film as much as possible and not take up as much space. Copy 
road. chopped up. When did it get like this? Oh, I was going to pull over here, get some shots. Hmm, there's a truck though. I want to go park it near this tree and get some cool shots. I feel like that looks sick. I don't know if the ground's muddy or not. Let's hold the bike here for a second. Is it muddy? Am I just going to slip around? Or? I want to like lean the bike up against the tree. Frigate. Yeah. Let's try it. Alright, onto the grass we go. Alright, you're probably confused at what I'm doing right now. Trust me, it's gonna look cool. Kinda move that, don't want that to touch. Does that look cool? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks like mad lowered because the grass is high. That looks pretty sick though. I'm gonna take this thing off because it'll look better in the shot. Take this one off as well. What does it look like without mirrors? Oh, it looks pretty badass. <laughs> looks so cool without mirrors. Damn. All right, let's get a camera out for some shots. Swap it into photo mode. Videos turned out cool, so we'll get some photos as well. This might be a little hard to take the photos because I'm wearing a helmet. I want to vlog it for you guys. Let's get like a one third shot. Looks pretty cool. That looks sick. Bit low up. Yeah. That looks sick. Any of these turn out good? Surely a couple of them. The videos look cooler, I think. Straight side on. Oh yeah, that's nice. Cool, I think that'll do it for a little photography session. I get this question all the time, like what are my GoPro settings and everything? And like I've made a video on it before, but everyone like can't find it on the channel or something. So I'm just making this kind of again. So I have a video to link to people with my exact Moto Vlog settings. So you can copy these exactly as you'd like yourself. Before I forget, there actually is one more setting I've not mentioned yet. And that is the sharpness. I just leave the sharpness on medium because GoPro sharpness is crazy. And I think medium is just a perfect medium, you know? Makes sense, right? Let's grab these things, put them back on we need those i'll continue riding through the forest and then head back on the uh, highway i'm having problems getting this mirror on luckily i got that one on fine sticking there in the right position but this one it's being a pain it wasn't finishing in the right position so i started to adjust it and change it but then everything got loose and now i can't tighten it properly without unloosening the other thing so i tighten this bit put this up the top start spinning this down and then the bottom one starts spinning so i don't have tools so it looks like we're just gonna have to take it off and run one mirror for now one mirror this is not by choice so don't think i'm just an idiot i literally couldn't get it back on and i don't have the tools for it i was trying for like 15 minutes but uh yeah we're recording let's head back on the road oh this looks so weird nice i hope no one thinks i'm doing this on purpose at least i have one mirror one functioning mirror we'll get home and fix that properly
pothole road work. Stop here on red signal. All right, this is the start of the race. I'm just kidding, we're not racing. Um, we're on the line, we're on the start line. I'm ready. Well, those roads are not good. But yeah, that's basically my settings. Yeah, check this guy out. That's basically my settings for the GoPro Hero 10. And you can use this across all action cameras. You just need ND filters and a way to plug in a microphone. And you're chilling, you're ready to go. I'm thinking about getting the DJI Osmo Action 4 or the GoPro Hero 12 when it comes out. I'll decide when the 12 comes out and compare the specs. I feel like I should just stick with GoPro because I know it and I'm good at it. But then again, the DJI has a lot of cool features, but, and the GoPro always crashes. And I've had good luck with my GoPro. Like honestly, my GoPro Hero 10 has been a beast, but you just hear a lot about GoPros and it's kind of a gamble if you're going to get a good one or not. Danger, that is correct. <laughs> Who else is doing this? Oh, I nearly hit my head. <laughs> I am a gymnast. My phone fell. Yay. Did it crack? Oh my, what? No, I'm just kidding. That cracked ages ago. Oh, that's embarrassing. I didn't even, I just, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. You didn't, you didn't say anything. And we're back home. That was a safe ride, chill ride. That's my GoPro settings for moto vlogging. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video and learnt anything. Go watch another one of my other videos because they're good and you'll enjoy it. See you later. Now that I'm staying, I don't wanna try.